thinking that I was doing that to the girl in the car. Oh, no. Ah, so it's Tony Tuesday. What's up, Tony? Hi, y'all. Uh, so, yeah, no. Uh, I was just getting ready to get into some really good stories with Tony, and I was like, oh, shit. We gotta fucking... We gotta be recording. Duh. Like... But uh, enough about me for right now. We'll come back to my crazy stories later, maybe. I don't know if we remember. But uh, how you been, man? Oh, I've been delightful. Yeah. It's really, uh, it's really good to be here. It's a beautiful day here in the lovely city of water, wealth, contentment, and health. Well, dude, you know, if you've got health insurance, you're walking on, uh, you're walking on cloud nine. But I think a majority of people. Um, don't. I don't know. Are you, are you on Cloud9? I am. I am thankful for Medi-Cal. Oh, you got the Medi-Cal. Yeah. What does that run you? Um, I pay nothing. Oh, sick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't claim my cash tips. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, see, I, like, I recently uh, enlisted in uh, unemployment. Um, which the is wonderful world of unemployment. Yeah, it's been pretty interesting um, because you know I've pretty much been unemployed and homeless my whole life, and so like I I said something to the effect of like oh I'm probably I haven't been in you know and even in, thought about unemployment like since I was like 18 or something and and that was like just on a whim like uh eh, I should go try and get a job through the unemployment agency. You know what I mean? Yes. And that sucked. <laughs> uh, thank you. Here, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you want to we'll take that corner? Table. Is that TV loud? This corner? Yeah, let's sit right here. Let's sit right here. Oh, my God. I didn't bring a fucking ball. No, I'm going to need that, probably, because they're going to ID me. Because I'm not old, that old looking. <laughs> you know what? I was going to ask too if you had one just in case. Oh, wow. They got a lovely selection. Did you get your own table or more? I love a field work beer. No, you got it. You got it. Hey guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, you want some menus? Yeah, sure. Got a couple of those. Do you want to try any of the beers? Go ahead and let me know. I can bring you, give you a taste. Do you have a is the style? is the blackberry like a cider? No, it's a sour. Oh, it's a sour. Yeah, it tastes like a, it's like a warhead sour. It's like super sour. Oh, really wow. good. Okay. Can yeah, I, do you want to try anything? Yeah, I do want to taste that. Can I just taste? Yeah, yeah, I gotta go grab it out of the truck. But that's what, we just realized as we sat down, I didn't bring my wallet. Shoot, I didn't bring my ID at all. Nuh-uh. Yeah. I believe you. Okay, good. I was going to say. Well, I tell didn't... Hank. Tell Hank Mr. Smith is here. He's not here. Ah. He's not here, Oh, really? Ah. Yeah. Lucky. Right? Good thing I brought cash. Did you, hey, did you bring money? Oh, yeah. I brought cash. Okay. All right. Well, no, no. I'll do. I'll run. After I taste this, I'll run down to my truck. Okay. It's no big deal. I, I'll get it in my wallet. I'm going to need it. Can I get the dark and oh, yeah the dark invader? Dark invader? Or yeah, that's it. <laughs> you got it. You want five, ten, or sixteen ounces? I'm gonna go with a, a sixteen. Feeling saucy today. It's not as sour. It's not as sour says. as you. Ah. Oh. No taste. Or do you what use is this sours? One? This is the uh, the blackberry. Okay. Well, here, hold on. Whoa. You don't think that's sour? No. Man, your palate is crazy. very advanced. Obviously, that is like a sour. They warrior. say they they say it's tray au vents. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what does this come in in a little tiny baby cup too? Uh, no, that comes in all three sizes. All right, I, don't, I just don't want a vase of it. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you have that, a middle one, and then that. One. Yeah, we'll do that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right and back. then these are our specials that we've got going on right now too. Okay. So make sure to check them out before you order. Okay, for you to miss something. And I'll get that beer going for you right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right Enjoy here, the ambiance. Woo, is this on? Oh, great. Uh, so, I'm here enjoying uh, Dank Invader. Ah, 
And it's good too. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Today we're at Food Fix. Have a little snack and beer. Excited for the transcripts that were released today. What'd you say? Well, oh, I'm talking, talking to my phone. <laughs> Shit. You ever sometimes tweet something and then uh, you're like, oh god, I said that? Still waiting. So the tweet I'm referring to was uh, Senator uh, Ron Paul was issuing a fiery demand for the media to reveal the whistleblower's identity. And so I tweeted back, send the neighbor over again, the one who beat him up the last time and, like, broke his ribs. Oops. I thought, I saw you, but I don't know if that one too. I sit here and wait for the, the one and only Jay Smith, thinking about what's for lunch.
quiet 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, good. So, uh... So anyway, what's new now? Uh, nothing much. Just working hard. Any Giants games lately? You know what? I. Figure out what you like? Oh no 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 no! Not okay. yet. Uh, no Giants games. I went to the last game of the year, which was really, really wonderful because yeah. it was Bochy's last game. But the bastards now wanting to manage again for another team. I don't understand it. Maybe that's what really what he wanted to do all along, though. Just leave. Yeah. Get out of it. I don't know. Get out of that. It was a bad situation. Yeah. Obviously, you know, winning three championships. It's always hard to tell behind the scenes what's really going on. You know, and nobody, I I don't think any like real businessman would just lay all his cards on the table to make everybody feel good. You know what I mean? Be like, this is for sure what I'm going to do. Whatever else I do after that, fuck you. This is what I'm doing this year, the rest. It's kind of like, you know, whenever somebody becomes president. You know, like they can promise anything and they all have, you know, but do they deliver? Well, I don't know. Do you think Obama delivered? Well, it depends on what you, I don't know anything. Are expecting. So, so I didn't expect shit. To me, it's a figurehead. So I'm like, oh, cool. They got, they got a, a black guy, you know, in the president. Like I, I'm a public enemy, you know, listener. And so, you know. Uh, painting the White House black is uh, always something that has intrigued me culturally. You literally want to paint it black. Well, that's that's what uh, um, that's what they said. And ain't no future in your front. It ain't old, no future in your front. And that was who who said that? Oh God, what was his name? I'm trying to think. Meek Mill. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, I'm drawing a blank right now. Maybe if I drink more. There you go. Hey, I have some more of that but, sour warhead. Yeah, this warhead. I cannot believe you do not think that is sour. No, it's really not as sour as I would like it to be. But, you know, I had the same problem with uh, ginger. I, I started with ginger ale, mm-hmm. and then I moved into ginger beer, mm-hmm. and then I moved into extreme double gingers, like ales and beers. And then I started juicing my own ginger and lemon. Wow. Because I couldn't get it strong enough in a bottle. You just need to settle with Reed's. It's it's the it's the go-to ginger ale for me. Reed's is where it's at. It's so weak. It really is. It's a great ginger ale. I think the, uh, the strongest one that I've ever enjoyed was my own. Oh. And it was just ginger... Lemons and a little bit of water and a little bit of sugar. Real sugar. So that was flat. There's no fuzziness to it. No, yeah, it was like lemonade. Okay. But it was like. So you had yourself a, a little ginger but spritz. It was like the wasabi. No, you had a ginger spritz. You're just a fancy boy with your ginger spritz. But I didn't have any carbonation in it. That's Wouldn't true. that make it a spritz? Yeah, that's true. You know, if I'd added a seltzer. <laughs> there we go. Or a Perrier. <laughs> what would you. You had a flat ginger. Yeah. I, I'm having myself a little flat gingy with a little well, lemon. Well, no, dude, now, they're sh- now they sell that shit at. Uh, Jumanji juice or whatever at the at the juice bar places. I, I saw that. They do. They started with the wheatgrass, and everybody was like, "Ew, that's weird. Ew, it tastes like lawn. Ew." <laughs> but but then now they do the ginger, and you know, they say it like uh, ginger and um, garlic are the two things that really clear and raw garlic, not like granulated or you know powder. Legit, like, or raw, like, like raw, like you take. Like um, cloves, you take that clove and you just chew it up. Now I, I, I'm from the school of can I just swallow it? No, no, you don't <laughs> you want need it. To you don't want it. You because because you don't want that shit released in your stomach. Why not? Because no, yeah, no, 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 it'll burn a hole. It, like it, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, uh, the 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 oils of the garlic are so toxic. I did that, not know this. That it'll fuck you up. So is it better to chew it, or Always. can I squeeze it in a... You want to masticize as much as possible, but the, but what is released during that mastication and what your body takes from it during that actual, that, that initial break of the 
of the because you know, it's like a seed. If you get, you know, I buy them in the I buy the big uh, Costco jug yeah. of clove, <laughs> clove. You know, not not the Harrison whole clove, but it's like the yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and pop one of those a day, crunch it up real good. <laughs> Go through the pain. I I would even sometimes get a skin rash. You know, because I get highly allergic to shit anyways. But that would, like, be so, so powerful. Like... I did not know that. Yeah. It's always bad. I mean, dude, have you ever noticed if you if you eat a sautéed garlic clove dough, you just shit it out whole anyways? You know what I mean? Like, because it's dead. I just love garlic. Yeah. I love it. But that's the best way to do it. So you're not from the school of chewing it, then shoving it up your butt. <laughs> not anymore. Cut out the middleman. Yeah, no. A lot Fuck of ulcers. You stomach. Fuck you. <laughs> A lot of ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I was curious. I, I really was curious because that's something that's come up now. And you know me. I don't vote, but I think that Trump is hilarious. Now and you know he's getting impeached. I don't know. In the House. I don't know. He will be impeached in the House. I don't know. He might not be impeached in the Senate, but then again, that's not a good thing either. But dude, it didn't do anything to Clinton? Well, you can't say that because anytime you mention mention Clinton's name to a Republican, oh, he got impeached. That's the first thing out of their mouth. He got a blowjob right, in the it, office, so it did do something. You can't. It stained it caught, his name it, forever. But I kind of feel like, and it also stained kinda, his wife but forever. Don't you, <laughs> but don't you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, because so, she just stood so it there. did. It there was no. It wasn't like, hey, I got away. That's Scott a social. But that's a social so- shock wave because they clamored about it so much. But let's also remember that back in that day when that was happening with Clinton, thirty-five percent of Americans thought it was stupid for the Republicans to be impeaching him for this blowjob and lying. I did. That's too. what they thought. I thought it was. But a, now we're polling at 50% of Americans want this impeachment to happen. So there's a, there's a difference that you must look into. Well, but what was the what, what kind of people were voting for Republicans back then? Though? Well, the Republican Party was quite strong. It had just lost Reagan, and so, you know, yeah. George W. Bush or, excuse me, not W, but this first, Herbert Walker. Well, both of them, both both of them were, all of them, like Reagan, uh, Bush, one and Bush two. Those were all Republicans. Correct. And then Clint, and then Clinton came in. Bush one, then Clinton for two years, then W. Bush. Oh, uh, that's right. That's yes. right. He was in between the Bush. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy Carter, Ironic, Ronald right? Reagan. See, I don't remember Carter. Yeah, yeah. He was. He only got one year. The only thing I remember is he put solar panels on the White House, and as soon as Reagan got in office, he took them down. That's just how stupid the Weird. Republican Party is. Well, if okay. we would have been, if we would have got into it back then, and got into green and solar energy, we would have led the world in what China is doing now. We would be doing it. We would have made maybe a fortune. you took them down because they were janky as fuck, though. Well, you know, you Republicans have to start are kind of they're prideful, you know, and it's like, dude, vindictive I, it, it, is another way of saying it. But, I, dude, I see that in both sides now, though. Especially oh, well, you know, now. well, now you guys are kind of rabid. Well, we're because we're trying to save the earth. <laughs> well, okay, so we just pulled out of the Paris so, Accord. <laughs> so you think you think the AOC like is legit? I do not succumb to her madness. I don't believe. What I do think you, what do you think about who, her? I think that she's was a bartender less than three years ago. That's pretty awesome. But does okay. But let me ask you this: like, doesn't it kind of seem like? Um, like it's kind of similar to the, like the the Trump era, though. It's like somebody that doesn't really know what the fuck they're doing is now in the office. Well, I could see that as you know what I'm saying. Like, point. like I'm saying, I'm like, I'm like, okay, you guys are all mad that that Trump doesn't have any priors in this kind of work, but neither does AOC. But see, and we're who's giving, giving her, her all this credit? But not who's, me. Who's giving her all the the this time? You guys, I Fox don't. News, no, no, Fox no. News every day is like this posse of AOC and and then the other girl I can't yeah. remember her name, but she wears the hijab. You know, well, there's like a posse. Yeah, there's three. There's three yeah. they keep picking on, and they're putting them up there to be these like stars within the Democrat Party, and we're just like they're brand new. They're no, you know, the star is Nancy Pelosi well, and Diane Feinstein. Maybe that is why though. 
because they are kind of the hope for a new future. You know, even even if what they're coming at it is an is stupid, is stupid out the gate. Like even if they're just fucking like you know, it's, but it's kind of like a baby learning how to use a rattle. It hits itself in the head a few times. Yeah. And so, um, and but but that's see that that's the difference though. In my opinion, between Trump and AOC, they are both the same kind of candidates. Mm-hmm. But he has a lot more business, you know, like ethic. So no, whether his business ethic, let's see. I'm not saying I'm not airplane. saying whether it's integrity. Oh, no, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not just saying. Well, it. his yeah. business. Let's go into his businesses. Yeah, yeah. He failed at a casino. That I think is anybody something. Would, no, though. no one fails at a casino. The house always wins. That is not something I made up. That is something <laughs> that is known throughout time with gambling. The house wins. If you do, if you fail at a casino, something's wrong there. Well, but that could be it's Trump that, steaks, Trump airline, okay, Trump vodka. But what about all the fact failures. that he? I mean, but it's kind of I, I again from an outside perspective. The way I kind of see it though is is that he um, he wasn't really that involved. Like it, like it's kind of like saying Michael Jackson under ruse fucking failed. You know, Michael Jackson it wasn't his under ruse. You know what I mean? It was it was like a product that had his name on it. Like Captain EO shirts failed at Disneyland. Like it wasn't Michael they, Jackson's fault they because kept he put Captain his name EO on it in Disneyland for a very no. Long actually, they time. brought it back. Oh, so it's back in? Now? No, it's gone again. Okay, now it's gone saying, again. It was there for a long. Time. I wish they'd bring it back. You know, you can watch it on YouTube. You can actually watch the whole movie on YouTube. It's really it's not in 3D, but you can see where the 3D is supposed to be happening, and that's kind of funny in itself because <laughs> it's like that weird like. Uh, ah. What? Yeah. What was it? We were just watching. Uh, Oh, the best of John Candy SCTV. Oh. And there's a part where, like, they're doing, like, a 3D spooktacular. And every after everything they do, they go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> And they just, like, lean in and out. And they, but they do it, like, awkwardly, way too long. You know, dude, SCTV was the best, right? No, that's Second City, right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. was Canadian... Yeah, it's Saturday Night Live, basically before Saturday Night Live. Okay, okay. Yeah. But now there was, there's a group, now that's a group that does comedy in Canada at a certain club, correct? Or do they move all over? Well, no, Second City is like a production company. Okay, okay. And so, like, they, they probably had a building, they probably have a school, or a, I think they do, of some sorts, you know what I mean? But, like... Uh, whenever somebody has like Second City credits, it, it's usually just by being in a production that's you know put put, to, put together. Like the like SCTV gave everybody that Second City cred, but and like but it's still a machine. It's it's you know kind of like Danger Fields. Danger Fields is a club. Oh. Well, actually now I don't think it is anymore. Oh, but I don't know. oh okay. Well, yeah, from it what I understand, I, or I don't know. It'd be interesting to look that up, I guess. Now, SNL members usually come from Chicago, right? Which would be... What group was that? Uh, you know, I don't really remember the name of that group. Because I know Chris Farley But they had their there. own group. Well, it was, you know, between Chicago and New York. Mm-hmm. Because, like, basically... If you're a comedian, like if you if you follow some comedians on Instagram, I can I can send you some on Instagram to follow that are pretty interesting, um, because you see how important it is to be at a club every night in New York, whereas in California, like um, not that I'm as legit as say somebody that's you know really trying to get their name out there right now because I'm not you know I'm, I don't work that hard at it, <laughs> but. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, there's there's not that many comedians that um, work like that out here, where they're at a club every night, at, you know, every day of the week, um, constantly, constantly. That's all they that's all they post is tomorrow I'm here, tomorrow I'm here, tomorrow I'm here. Last night was great. Tonight I'm here. It'll be better. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be there. Um, But that's kind of like once you get into like a certain circuit that passes by these certain people, then you start getting asked by this circuit. You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. that's and that's kind of like a feeder circuit. I I I always think of things like 
I, I parallel things to different things that I don't really care about because it helps me understand them maybe better. <laughs> but like uh, when I lived in Texas, there's this whole fucking town. Just imagine like I don't know, like Sonora. Sonora, Sonora is let, let's just we'll call this. I don't. I can't even remember the name of the place, but it's a feeder for. This whole community is a feeder into the lo- Texas Longhorns. Okay. Like, it's it directly goes into... The restaurant the, or the no, school? No, the school. Oh, okay. The football. Okay. So, it, so this whole town is very dedicated to Being football. A, a Longhorn. Yeah. All right. And Longhorn tradition. And, and this is, like, basically everybody's on the same mission. Or they're, like, they're somewhere else. They're, they're phasing out of their kids off you know, to has gone off to college already, and so now they can move because, like, we got our kid into the right they school. Did it. Yeah, yeah, and now we can now we can go do something else. We can go drive an RV around the country or whatever. Stop at all kinds of WalMarts. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, it's like uh, it's so it's kind of like that. It's like I, I always think of like if you told seventh grade me that I was going to open for Vanilla Ice ever. I'd be like, I hate that guy. I don't believe you. He was big in, when you were in seventh grade, wasn't he? Yeah, but I, but he was new, and I don't like new stuff. Uh-huh. You know, I was a Jerry Lee Lewis kid. I was a I wasn't even an Elvis kid. I was a Jerry Lee Lewis kid. I was a. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, dude, I bet on the wrong horse there, bro. And then I became a Harry Connick Jr. kid. Oh Lord. He can play so well, though. <laughs> have, dude, have you ever seen him live, though? Never. He plays every instrument in the band. And I won't, but I am debating. You don't like him? I do not. You don't think he's handsome? Uh, it doesn't do it for me. See, that's what I want to look like. There, that's well, how you were almost I there. When I was, when I was skinny. Well, with this I new venture close. you're starting on. I don't know. You can do anything you you put your mind to. Now, I don't think you can have steak and eggs every morning, though. This I think the, I'm supposed to. I don't know. Is that this keto? Is it the keto? I don't know if they're going to do keto. I, I like. I have to go get weighed in later today. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I'm glad that I'm having a beer with you because this might be my last beer once they give me my your your my regiment. And, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I have. They gave me. Um, Max Muscle gave me uh, this green whey, and it's infused with CBD. And so, like, I like that. I like, I like that. You like a the lot. CBD? It does. Well, I was like, you. I like knowing that. Um, I like. It's like you know, because CBD is like taking like an Advil, pretty much. Like it gives you that kind of uh, that relief, like. I don't know if I told you, like, whenever I was working for the green shop, I had two meetings with two different vendors one day, and the first guy came through, and he had pretty typical, you know, THC, CBD candies, and I was like, whatever, but then the next guy came in, and he had um, oils, he had like, it was like flavored like a peanut oil, and he said, and I, and I hadn't smoked all day, so I was hella cranky, and he gave me a, he said, here, dude, here's a sampler. And I put a couple drops under my tongue, and he said, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be back in a minute. By the time he came back from the restroom, I was ready to fucking hang out. Like, I was feeling eggy, like, all day. And Just a couple drops under the tongue. A couple tongue. drops under the tongue, and it fucking changed my fucking whole perspective. Him and I hung out for, like, two hours. So do you use this brand regularly now? No, no, no. I don't even remember what the brand was. Because that doesn't matter. No, that doesn't matter, dude. It comes down to the it co- what it comes down to is the milligrams of actual potency. You know what I mean? Well, also, well, it could also come down to with who's doing it. I mean, because we've worked for some unreputable people before who yeah. didn't care. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But they also had high potency. Yes, but you know, when you're so. mixing it in with mildew, you know. You right, know. right, right. Well, and so, and yeah, so. Well, but now with the, if you get something at a store, it's pretty fucking regulated. Just because everybody's afraid, especially with this cartridge death that's been the vape death is, that's been happening. I don't know. Quite scary. I still vape. 
Oh, you do? What do you, would you have a particular brand that you go with? Um, well, I was getting concentrated research directly from them. Um, but I liked Rove, but I don't know if I would trust them anymore, like with the filler, mm-hmm. you know? Because that, that was something I noticed uh, Rove changed. It went from like a, a um, almost like a beeswax consistency to a oily, oily like, yeah. a, like a clear yellow. Yeah, I agree. And that, to me, that's sketch. I used to love honey. Honey, yeah. Beer. I yeah. thought they were good. Select, I used to think was very good. But I've I had some good selects. I've had some pretty good select ones for sure. But yeah, though, uh, well, basically, I concentrated research. I also get Rick Simpson oil from them mm. um, because I have like, well, I have genetically, I have cancer in my family, and so anything. For, I mean, it's kind of why I got into marijuana in the first place was because my brother died from cancer. So, yeah, so I'm just thinking, well, shit, if I made it five years longer than him, I need to start doing preventative things, you know, to see 50 or to see 70 or 80. Or to see know. some grandchildren. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so yeah, but I you mean. You breeders. <laughs> no, hey, that's funny. You just, you just triggered me because uh, have you seen this uh, OK Boomers thing? Okay, boomers. Uh, yeah, yeah, boomers is the is the new insult for everybody. I am not like like if you're over sixteen, you're a fucking boomer now, <laughs> and uh, and so like uh, so like that's like the uh, the the biggest insult, you know, like for the kids and the memes and shit. Like you know, adults try to explain anything to them, they're like, okay, boomer, <laughs> and so now there's like shirts coming out that just say okay, boomer, and they show like elderly people like you know walking like go with the canes yeah yeah <laughs> and then says this person is 27 well i you know i always talk about it like on stage i would bring up you know the boomer uh um generation because that's who raised us you know that's that like to me that that was kind of like the t- and, and if you weren't attacking if you weren't attacking somebody's parents by talking about the boomers, then you were attacking somebody in the audience for sure. You know what I mean? And uh, and it, I think it's just kind of funny that now it's like like anybody's a boomer. You know what I mean? It's just like it's just a it's just a dig now. Like oh, boomers are the worst. <laughs> okay, boomer. Or like you know, I think I, I think our generation would say. Uh, that's nice. Or I'm trying to think of like sarcastic. Bless shit. your heart. <laughs> Bless your heart. I'm gonna pray for you. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, pray, gonna for pray for you. Because I want nothing to do with you. But I'm gonna I, pray. Or for I you. used to pat people on their head and say like, uh, uh, "That's nice, kid. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Keep Good idea, for kid. Stars. Call him kid. Kid. But yeah." Uh, yeah, no, the, I don't know how things are going to go with the movie, you know. It, that's why I also, I, 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 you know, if we can start hanging out on Mondays, that'd be cool. Because uh, then you can you can help me, you know, we could do like a... Accountable. Well, a accountability and a, and a, a, I a, mental, a, a mental evaluation. Because you, you've seen me in many states of mind. Yes. And so, so, like... Which one are we going to revisit? You know, once I start getting cranky, you know. Well, then you need to up your CBD. <laughs> well, that, dude, that's the thing. Was in previous expenditures of energy, I didn't have CBD as an option. That that wasn't even on the table until two years ago for me. And I think that now it's in everything, and that that could fucking save everybody's life. Go for you it, can go take for them all. Okay. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like it might make us a, a make it might make for another weak culture too, though, because everybody's just gonna be all like, ah, ah, that's cool. Because there's gonna be people that aren't gonna be taking CBD and they're gonna be on meth or the, whatever that brain pill is, and they're gonna be pillaging us. Well, we're gonna bring back mushrooms. Well, they're kind of in a lot of ways they never really left, Tony. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they're, they're like Bob's big boy. Where the hell is a Bob's Big Boy? Well, that's what 
Dr. Evil came in on. Remember? Yeah, yes. Well, I used to go to a real Bob's Big Boy when I was a kid every Sunday, so I'm like, where is there well, one? Didn't that one's Webbs gone. used to be Bob's Big Boy? Not that I know of. Or was it just always Webb's? I have no... Webb's Burgers downtown? Yeah, yeah. I As long as I've been here since 91, that's been Webb's. Well, I know it's been a Webb's since the 80s. Mm. But I, I wonder if, if before... I don't know. I do not know. I do remember... Some more history. What was the place on McHenry... Man, oh gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. What the karaoke spot? No. no. <laughs> Did you ever get ninety one? Yeah, you would have been able to go there. Uh, Epi's. Epi's. Yeah. What was you remember the name Epi's? Of Epi's restaurant? Yeah. And, yes, and they, they had the made dive a good bar in the back. Burger. And they had the dive bar in the back. It was. Uh, I never. Where, I was too young then. But yes. Well, where it was was um, it was actually where the Jack in the Box on Briggsmore and McHenry is now. Yes. That's where it used to be, and. Uh, yeah, dude, fucking, uh, that was like the spot, dude. That it was. was. Like, yeah. It was a good burger. Well, the karaoke. Oh, well, see, I, w- I was too young. Yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, before 10, it was fair. It was like Ridgeways, you know? As long as you weren't drinking and you were with an adult, you could hang out. As far as... Sanatories, too. As far, being from Riverbank, we would go to... Uh, there was a coffee shop over by Orangeburg or Roseburg Square. And it was they used to play jazz on, mm. on Thursday nights, and so that was my go out and be exciting, have iced tea, and listen to jazz music. Yeah, you can always tell when a restaurant's about to go under; they start playing jazz. Ouch! It was it was a good time. You guys don't ever play jazz at your restaurant. No. Never. Never. We do not. It's either ballad Spanish or it's fucking. Fiesta Spanish. Fiesta. What do you think about Marie Callender's coming back? Really? Swear to the Lord. Dude, that would be pretty cool. They Only will be because... opening within the middle of this month, November. No way. I swear. You're lying. They're starting So get pies. this. My mom has not cooked Thanksgiving for at least that I know of like the last five years. Because she buys Marie Callender's and we we go camping for Thanksgiving. We usually go somewhere like close. So the Modesto Reservoir. But they plan to go on a cruise because yeah, Modesto Res or a Comanche. Okay. Or yeah, no, we keep it really close. Of course. Um, uh, but dude, so they they were like, oh, Marie Calendar's close. Fuck it, we're going on a cruise. No Thanksgiving this year. So if they really reopen. I'm grabbing some. I do and I'm gonna and I'm gonna eat it on Instagram, at, and show and, and so my mom can see it and Inspired. be like, "Oh, look, mom!" So yes, they will be opening mid-November. They won't have a liquor license till sometime in December, but mm-hmm. all that good stuff. They had a what was their their they had like a, a distinct muffin, didn't they, or a biscuit or something? Well, they did do muffins. Their cornbread was amazing the with the honey butter. The really pies, good. yeah. The, the pies. cornbread, that's what it the was. The cornbread with the honey butter. Come on. Yeah, honey butter that's cornbread. You, you remember You remember that salad bar uh, buffet? Yes. Not there. Oh, But where? the one, it was called Fresh Choice. Oh, I loved Fresh what Choice. What happened to that? People in America do not like good, salad. healthy food. God, that was my favorite, dude. Oh, it was delicious. Their beet salad. All the different brands. That's where I met DJ Ace. He was the uh, balloon guy. That oh. would, that would, he was kind of a... I don't think he lasted very long, but... But I had seen him... I saw him get pulled over um, out by the mall one time in this... He had a green... It was a flat... He had painted it with a roller paint. Flat green. Like chroma key green. And he had, like, some cards in the back window. And it was like, DJ Ace... And I was like, what the hell? TJ and, uh, Ace. I, and he was painted up like a clown. And he got pulled over. And now, I, don't, I just saw he was DJing somewhere. Like the uh, the White Horse in series or something. Good for him. He used to do, remember Sidelines? I do remember Sidelines. Yeah. They started playing jazz too. 
You know, well, that wasn't what brought him down. <laughs> the jazz was, let's maybe try and save the sinking ship. Yeah. <laughs> but when the water's over the bow, chances are you can't save that ship. Nah. No matter how, I don't no care how, many how much cocaine. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, wait, wait, a bucket. That's what blood. I meant. Yeah. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> but this uh, one's full. God. Such a... Such a tangled web we weave. So, um, what, um, what, what, like, you really think he's going to get impeached? Oh, definitely. In the well, house. I saw, I, In saw, the house. I saw the thing about the taxes. Like, they, they, uh, he appealed to not have to show his taxes. Yes. And so now... Is that something that everybody's had to do, though? Yes. Well, no, they, they've just done it. It's something every president has done. But it's not... Expected. It's it's expected. Definitely. It's the norm. It's the average thing to do. But I mean is it taxes. but is it like something that we have in law? There it's not a law. So it's just expected. It's a it's 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 a norm. So it's we a have, norm of so, being so, a president. So so hey, I'm on the up and up. Here's so my it seems taxes. like he might have a lawyer that was like, Hey, guess what? We don't even have to do that. There's no law about that. And then he's like, Yeah, fuck that, there's no law. Yeah. But now there are laws. And he's being investigated from in New York because his charity stole money from kids with cancer. No. Oh yes. But what about Russia, bro? Russia, Ukraine, it's all connected. It's it's all one, it's all one ball of mob. Well, okay. What about the Biden kid? See, That's that has weird. been discredited. It's been discredited numerous times. The, the the prior Ukraine guy who was doing the investigations cleared him of it because there was nothing to it. What happened was Biden and Obama knew that there was a certain guy in Ukraine who was not getting the job done. And he was the guy that Russia liked because he was not doing he was not busting the corruption. So when Biden said, Hey, you want this money? While he was president. He didn't ask for any info on anybody. He said, you want this money? This corrupt official needs to go. Everybody around this corrupt official agreed that he needed to go. Would you vote for Biden? Yes. I'm going to vote for anybody who will who will win. What do you think about Beto? He just he's, bowed he's out. out. He's out. But I mean, what did you think about him before? I really didn't. I like Kamala Harris. I like uh, Biden. Isn't she the one? She's the one that was... Uh, our, our uh, attorney general. Okay. For California, just last couple years. Yeah, she's got crazy eyes. Well, she is a lawyer, so yeah. She gets kind of like, ah, right? She will tear your ass apart if, if, if it's deserved. Yeah. She will uh, fuck around. What do you think about, what about the, uh, the Asian dude that wants to get everybody a thousand yeah, bucks? Yeah, I, I liked it at first because who doesn't want a thousand dollars a month? Who doesn't? I mean, honestly, yeah. that would change people's lives. It, it but really where does that money come from? It, that's a good question. But you know what? Why are we asking that? Why are we not asking why Amazon, who is the biggest, largest company in a, in the world, is paying no taxes? Why are we ask? Why are we mad at people who are, who are making nothing? How come, how come? You know what? No, I'm good. How, well, how come they're not paying taxes? Yeah, that's weird. It's very weird. They're a very successful company. How come, like, New York, they were going to give like them... Like, they're not paying at all, or they're just not paying enough? At all. Because they're so big, and they can move stuff around, and, and they have they've got, they put people in to make laws, and this huge tax break that just went through. Really? Oh, yes. So, okay. Why is it that we're funding for the F-35? <laughs> we funded that. And what is they, that? It's it's a new jet, like the F fifteen or okay. the, you know you know those big they yeah, used yeah. the top gun. Like but we jets. have the new one. Okay, it was okay. like eighty six million dollars a plane that we funded to build. Now Boeing is or whatever company uh, Hewlett Packard or whoever they are, I can't even remember. They're going to be selling these all around the world. We funded this to be made. Mm. Now they are taking because they are the ones who we help make right, it. They're right. going to be selling it and they're getting the profit. Yeah, that's Why weird. Why is that? Why is it that a drug company can take our public yeah, dude, funding? Yeah, but, to, the, but the Wu-Tang guy, he got popped. 
the the uh, the what, what was that guy? Dude, the guy? Skelling, Skelling, <laughs> Scarelli, Scarelli. Yeah, isn't that like a that he has like a movie criminal name, dude? But literally, there's been two Birdie Man, Madoff, and this Scarelli guy that have been busted. That's it. Well, what, what is that? What Madoff did? Well, he was a Ponzi scheme. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I thought. Whenever you said him and Scarelli, but Scarelli well, because was because they're the white guys who were who but that, built people for money. And but got, is that what they did? Is that what Scarelli ultimately did? They got him in trouble. What he did was he bought. Um, I believe the main thing was he bought a drug company patent, and then jacked up the price like nine hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, it's not that it was I, well, obviously what he did was illegal because he got busted for something. Right, right. It's just a bad look. It's. Good business, bad look. Yeah. But, dude, I feel like there's a lot of products out here that are like that. Anyways. Yeah, and we need to stop them all. Look what's going on with PG&E. They've yeah. burned down Paradise in this decade like two times. In just the last five years, they've burned down that. They killed 85 people last, what, two yeah. years ago. Yeah. They blew up San Bruno neighborhood. Oh, dude, I drove through there after the fires. Annihilated, dude. There was no gas stations in the whole town because they were all burnt to the ground. And they're doing these blackouts. Imagine a small business that had food in its fridge that got shut down for three days. Well, okay, so are you buying the wind blackout reasoning? No, I'm not. I'm buying the fact that they wanted to give their shop stockholders and shareholders bonuses and money so they stopped doing what they should have done, which is maintaining the lines. Let's just take for this area. We have TID and MID. They are running and maintaining their lines. Have their lines ever caused a fire that burned down a whole neighborhood? No. Right, right. PG&E has because they're not maintaining their lines. So let's break them up and turn turn all those people who were PG&E employees in Paradise into PID employees. And they'll do their job the way it should have been done. You know what I mean? Right. When it gets too big... And it keeps failing. It's not too big to fail anymore. It's too big to continue. Right. Well, that's what I thought was going to happen with Walmart eventually, because it was kind of going to shit. But then they built the whole fucking city inside the you know inside of that mountain. And that's another company that doesn't pay their fair share of taxes. Yeah. It's it's people making. $100,000 an hour telling people that are making $55 an hour that the people who are making $7 an hour are the problem. Right. And that and and it's just like, oh, yeah, that's it. They want more of those people at the bottom. They want to, you know, right. have a, a nice roof over their head. They don't want to have to freeze to death. They want to have food in the fridge, but they don't want to work for it. Yeah. But is it the guy that has 28 bathrooms that's the problem? Oh, bro. I just saw a video. They went to Jeremy Epstein's uh, island. How did he get killed? How did he get killed in police custody? The two- no, he was walking in and out. He wasn't in, he wasn't in custody. No, but uh, it, well, in his cell, he, he, he had free roam, though. He could go. He, he was going in and out, and he was supposed to check in with a probation officer, and he wasn't. But he was just, yeah. Hey. Free to, and he but was they, bringing but, people into. But these two guys went and went to the island. The one that they burned, huh? The one that they burned as soon as he uh, got arrested. No, 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 no. The one, the island. Yeah, the island. He, they burned it down after he got arrested. Really? You didn't hear about that? No. That whole island they set on fire and burned it. Wow. Well, they went out there, and the temple is all like janky. Like it's like a fucking Hollywood set. Ah, oh, I believe they that. said they said that temple thing is just a box. Basically, he's like he he was like, dude, the front door is like painted on it. He's like, I mean, there was wood, you know, covering some of the windows or whatever that went in there. But he's like, dude, it's like he's all. And then I guess in the hurricane, the uh, the, the roof of it, the, the the dome or whatever, actually blew off of it. But. Um, yeah, fucking. Uh, no, I, when did it catch fire though? Like right then? When he was arrested. So his house, the mansion, the island, what, the house, the island. I don't know. I've never seen pictures of it or whatever. Because there was like bulldozers out there, and there was an EMS out there. Like there was, there was definitely like a response team out there. But uh, but these guys just kept making it about like uh, 
you know, you can't trust the big government. You can't trust anybody that's uh, the news. You can't trust anybody that's giving you information or any of the stuff. So we just decided to jump on the island and run around. And, it, like, they, dude, they found, like, some pretty crazy stuff. There's, like, a chair made of uh, horns and uh, a bunch of, like, weird demon uh, gargoyles all over the island. Like little Sounds kinky. Yeah, but... And so this was in January of 2019. So I don't think that that was his actual building, though. I think that was just like because there's a lot of there's a lot of greenery out there. So maybe they burnt evidence. Who knows? You know for sure, burnt evidence. Burnt the cab the the, the dungeon room. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean you're rich. You're but cute. dude, they, but but they were saying like they talked to the locals. These guys did, and they were like, dude, we've lived out for 20 years, and we've always we see him. You know, waiting at the dock, a bunch of little girls waiting at the dock to get on the boats. And they were like, eventually he was just like, he would take a flight in and then take a helicopter. He had his own helicopter pad out there and shit. Because it's a short flight, right, For, to Florida. Oh, well, okay, so that was the other trip was that there's a lot of other islands that are owned by different companies or countries. And so as they're making their way, they were like making sure that they weren't crossing borders or you know what I mean like they because they, they were like dude we could get blown out of the water because the, the driver didn't even want to take him and then like he finally he set up and they were like they went around the island and then he went up to the dock and he goes you guys have five seconds and they just fucking bolted onto the dock and went running up with their cameras film everything quick I mean at least that's how they acted it out you know it made good television yeah like Geraldo, remember when he tried to go through the vault? Oh, dude! <laughs> and it no, was a bottle. That's funny. No, no, no. you know, uh, I just saw Geraldo. They they aren't showing the actual footage of him getting hit with the chair anymore. But Bummer. it's it's him. It's him patting his bloody nose, and the skinheads stand by the door and go, "Skinheads, let's go!" And they all like run out. It was pretty good. And now they're mainstream. Right? Well, they're all over Oregon. Oh, I believe that. Dude, could... so, so you know, in, uh, with Portland, the chief of police is the mayor. Did you jump to another round? Oh, no, no. I got it. I got it. Do you both of them? Yeah, please. It's you a sure? 15 okay. Yeah, that's fine. Keep the change. Oh, thank you. I just went and got my wallet, bro. It's all right. Uh, I'll remember <laughs> to bring mine next time. No, next time I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> but every Monday now. Woo! I'm, I'm making you commit. All right. Oh my God, Han Solo just walked in. Han Solo is here. I am excited for that movie. My movie? No. Well, uh, yes. Uh, oh, Star Wars. To watch Wars. you suffer? <laughs> yes. I'm excited to watch you suffer. No, you know. Okay, so. I actually know some spoilers, but they're saying that they're reshooting a bunch of Star Wars. They're reshooting it, like, even right now, to try to, yeah, because so much leaked out. Oh, okay. Um, but from what I understand, Chewbacca dies and then doesn't actually die, and C-3PO dies and then doesn't actually die, and then Ray makes a yellow lightsaber. Fuck you, J. Smith. <laughs> Take me home. The podcast is over. You're a whore. I never liked but, you. <laughs> Come on, you've seen those though. At least, I mean, everybody, everybody's like, this is like the biggest tearjerker moment. But, but like every time, every time they show the C3PO going, I'm going to, I'm saying goodbye to my friends. <laughs> I hate your face. I hate your face. Right? <laughs> You are the Mark Furman at this table right now. <laughs> but you, I mean, but here's the thing is. I'm not of, ready for that. There's none of his friends in the room. He dies alone? No, I'm saying <laughs> Poe, Ray, me, Faso, La Dido, <laughs> none of those fools are his homies. They all just got there. Oh, okay. R2 is like the only homie that's there right there. And maybe Chewbacca if he's alive there. Well, I don't know. I'm all just right. saying. You know what I mean? And he's like, I'm taking one look at my friends. Are you ready? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs>